Link, obviously a uh, big week for you guys. Um, you know, I know the playing your old quarterback and one of your close friends. Um, how do you guys keep the emotions in check in terms of focusing on the game at hand? Yeah, uh, just not worrying about the outside noise. I know there's a lot of stuff going on social media, um, but just noticing that, you know, all that stuff is just a bunch of words and a bunch of noise, and none of that stuff translates to the field. So as long as we take care of business, uh, the, the multiple practices a day that we have uh, leading up to the game and not, you know, taking grasp of what's going on outside of the of the lines, I think we'll be just fine just focusing on ourselves. You guys get back to a bowl game. So, you know, more games, more practices. How important do you think that is for a young team? Uh, well, I mean, it's a standard. So it's very important for, you know, a young team just to establish what type of culture we have and also give us another chance to um, display our culture in another game and, and uh, extend our season. But it's mostly important for those for those seniors, man. They they sacrifice so much for, you know, this this university, this program. They've been through so much that it's a uh, it's only right that we make it to to a bowl game. But, you know, this coach says the standard is making a bowl game. I think the standard now is, is going to be winning it. So, um I'm excited, man. You know, we've we've worked really hard this season. It's not gone our way a lot, but um, at the end of the day, we've always kept our head down and continue to work hard. And and uh, there's always something there's always something good at the end of hard work. So um, I'm I'm excited to see where we land. Obviously, got to handle these next two weeks, and um, we'll be where we want to be. And I'm excited to get to extend the season. We'll play one more game with these guys and um, send it off on the right note. He sent an apology letter to that Arizona State defensive back you put <laughs> to the ground on us Saturday. Man, no, I haven't actually, but no, I just – it's just a, the definition of how you play without the ball, so it dictates what type of player you are. Um, you know, this – yesterday I went to a little NIL, little uh, kind of mixer, talked about, you know, there's a bunch of – there's like soccer coach was there, a bunch of uh, head guys, Pat Chum was there, and this one dude, he actually – his name was Love. He's the player. Uh, he was talking about, um, you know – taking up space and your, your, your own self, you're taking up space. So you're either, you know, taking up space or you're making that space feel wanted. And, and I just feel like, you know, you you can impact the game without the ball. And, you know, a definition of a, a football player is a person who's willing to do, you know, everything and anything for the team and whatever is best for the team, regardless of, um, you know, circumstance. So regardless of touchdowns and, you know, guys chose me to be a captain, not because I scored touchdowns, because I'm a guy they're going to look to during a hard time. So just setting that standard for when you don't have the ball, what, what to do, and uh, just making sure, taking pride in making my guy not making the play. Who are two freshmen you would say have impressed you the most um, from the start of the season now, not including guys like Leighton and Jalen who have played a bunch? Um, hmm. I would say John Mateer. First of all, and then uh, secondly, on defense, I would say um, J. Rob. So J. Rob and uh, John Mateer for sure. Just um, their mindset and their ability to take critical, uh, you know, constructive criticism, be able to learn and and expand their game. Because you know how that, cut, that I know how that is. That first year is everything happens so fast, and you can kind of miss kind of key things in the developmental of your game. Uh, where you guys you won't get that chance back to see a D Lang in front of you or to see a Cam Ward or talk to Coach Morris. Um, just them being sponges and really honing in on their craft and taking everything um, you know to a T and making sure they're doing the right thing. So when their time is called and whether that be this game or next year, that they're ready and they they've learned from their mistakes and they can progress into that player that they want to be.